Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming, bringing you a video, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all my classes, um, redoing some of them and everything like that. So, all the classes that I was going to change, or that I'm going to change, I have empty, um, attachments, and then all the ones that I want that basically the same guns, but maybe different attachments, I kept with the same guns. So, Let's go ahead and get into this first one. So first off, I want to use the Growl. I mean, there's pretty much a bunch of um, good guns, um, especially for Hardcore, which is the game mode that I use most. But these weapons could also be used in Core. Um, but basically, there's a bunch of good guns. There's a the Growl, there's a CR-56A Max, um, AS Val, Foul, M4A1, the Burst, uh, FAMAS, and there's basically just a bunch. The Scar, the AK-47. Um, and even the Ram, Ram 7, but I'm going to be going with the Growl um, 5.56. Um, I'm also going to be going with um, the XRK Season Mark II. Um, this one, also, or the one right after it, the PSS um, 20.8 Nexus, also has the basically the same things, but with the recoil control. But I don't really think you need the recoil control, especially for the... Um, the negative of losing movement speed, I think I would rather go with the XRK, um, just because I don't really think you need the recoil control on this, especially in um, a return for the movement speed. Next up, I'm going to be using the TAC laser for ADS speed, the no stock for ADS speed, the um, XRK Void 2 for ADS speed, as well as the Merc foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Um, you could also switch that out for the monolithic or um, lightweight suppressor, which I would actually prefer in hardcore specifically for the monolithic suppressor to extend that um, one hit range. But for the Merc foregrip, it works for both uh, core and hardcore just because you can have more recoil control. But I'm gonna be going with the monolith monolithic suppressor. Next up, I have my JAK-12 class. I'm going to be keeping this basically the same. Um, so I have the Ultra Urban or the Urban King um, barrel here. Um, I would also recommend doing either the ZLR or the or the ZLR 3600 or 2800. Um, mostly, I'm probably going to go with the 3600 just because it increases your damage range by quite a lot, um, and your accuracy as well. Next up, I have the 5 milliwatt laser for hip fire accuracy and sprint, um, sprint to fire speed. I also have the ZLR Tsunami for ADS speed, um, as well as the stippled grip tape for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, just so that you can sprint and then you can just start spraying. And then the 32 round mags, um, you could also use the Dragon's Breath if you're running into like um, some shotgun campers or some people who just are using like rocket launchers or something like that or especially shield people um, You could use either the dragon's breath or the slug mags um, if you if you prefer these just because these are um, explosive rounds Although this does um, reduce the amount of ammo fire rate bullet velocity and damage radius Which is why I prefer the 32 or the Dragon's Breath, and I'm going to be going with the 32, um, just because I'm confident that I won't die as much with the um, with the Jack 12, so I won't really need to kill them after. Um, also, for both, probably most of these classes, um, I'm going to be having the Cali Sticks, Double Time, Hardline, and Amped, as well as a Thermite and Stem. So just keep in mind that's going to be a, um, the, the secondary perks and um, lethal and tacticals for most of these classes. Speaking of, next up, I'm going to have different perks. Um, I'm going to be using this for this class for mostly um, objective based game modes and um, long to medium range. So basically, um, if it's a longer range map, I'm going to be using this, and if it's a, an objective game mode, I'm going to be using this. So, first off, we have the AX50 with the 17.0 factory barrel, as well as the TAC laser, um, and the Syncard Arms Assassin, as well as the Step Grip Tape. This is basically as much ADS speed as you can possibly have. And then, I used to use the 9-round mags here, but I think I'm going to take this off, 
Um, it will mean that I have to do more reloading, but at the same time, I'm going to be using sleight of hand, that way I can reload faster. Plus, it gives me a little bit of that mobility back, just barely, and it keeps that increased um, fire rate, which I don't really know where we get that from, if I'm being honest. Um, so, I don't know. Apparently, it gives you a little bit of uh, ADS speed. Oh, wait. Is it? Oh, sleight of hand gives you a slightly better... Um, fire rate for those of you that don't know i didn't know um next up we have the 8.5 factory mini um as well as attack laser no stock and stupid grip tape basically all of this is the same as the um ax50 just to increase ads speed as much as possible and then we also have the 0.41 ae 32 round mags which is basically just adding damage and range so you get more one hit kills and you get longer range for your one-hit kills, which is great for the Uzi. I think what I'm actually going to do, instead of having the 8.5, I'm going to put on either the... Um, FFS, FFS, um, I'm going to put on this one, uh, the 13.1 first responder, just because you don't lose the movement speed, but you gain the damage range and bullet velocity. And look at that, you do lose a pretty decent amount of mobility just from that. So I'm going to be using this. Um, just because this is still almost maxed uh, ADS speed. So that, this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, basically a bunch of damage, really good damage um, for, our, for our close range and long range, as well as a lot of ADS speed to where the ADS is almost instant. Next up we have double time again, um, overkill, and then amped overkill is just for the Uzi, as well as thermite in stem. Next up we have the MP7 class, um, so what I used to use instead of the Merc 4 grip was the 60 round mags, but I changed it to the Merc 4 grip for recoil control, um, because while this lowers ADS speed, the 60 round ma mags lowered ADS and movement speed, so I went for this just because it was slightly less um, mobility as well as a better hipfire accuracy. Next up, I have the FSS or ADS speed. I also have no stock for better ADS speed. I also have stippled grip tape for more ADS speed. And then to balance the loss of an extra like 30 rounds, I got sleight of hand to reload faster. I also have the Cali sticks, uh, double kill, hardline, amped, um, Simtex, which I shouldn't have. I should have the thermite because I usually use thermites instead, as well as stim. Um, after that, we have the... Um, which one was it that I had on this one? Um, I think I'm gonna go with the. Hmm, what class do I want for this one? I basically have most of my classes, so. Um, I'll come back to this one later and see what I'm missing. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Warzone class. So for my Warzone class, I have the FTAC um, seven straight for better damage range, bullet velocity, and really cool control, as well as AD or losing some ADS speed and movement speed. But that doesn't really matter because this is Warzone and I'm going to be trying to shoot as far as possible. I also have the Bipod for better recoil control, which I think instead I want to do uh, something that gives me more damage range, but I don't think we have any of those. As well as the Explosive Fire Round Mags for more damage. Um, I also have the Granulated Grip Tape, which I think after that is a stippled Grip Tape, um, just because it's not here. So I want the more ADS speed for that, so I'm going to be using that once I get it. As well as FMJ that has more bullet penetration. Um, but I don't really actually think that matters, so instead I think I'm going to go with the... Um... No, I'm going to keep the... Uh, I'm going to do sleight of, hand, sleight of hand instead. That way I reload uh, faster. If I had a better sight, like one that zooms in, then I would use that. But I don't, and so basically, once I get it, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I'm going to be using. If there's stippled grip tape, I'm going to use that for more ADS speed, um, as well as if there is something for longer range, I'm going to be using that. But if there isn't, then I'm going to be going down here, and hopefully there's going to be a stock for more ADS speed. Next up, I have the Growl 5.56. Um, basically, I want that instead. Um... The XRK Season Mark II, the Mark IV grip, um, as well as the XRK Void II, no stock, and fully loaded. Uh, the reason I'm going for fully loaded on this is because it's um, Warzone, so I want as much ammo as possible. Which I don't think will actually do anything, actually, because it has um, all the ammo, so I'm going to be doing 
um, monolithic suppressor instead. I also have double time, um, over, double time overkill and amped, as well as C4, which I think I'm going to swap out for a claymore, and then also a heartbeat sensor. Um, let's see what else do I have. Okay, those are all my classes. So for this one, um, I remember what I wanted for this one. This one's going to be an LMG class. Um, and really, you can use this for any LMG. Um, almost, actually, all of these are really good LMG. Maybe not the Holger as much, but it is still pr a pretty good LMG. Um, the fin is ex extremely accurate. Um, the SA87, you can basically turn it into an AR. The PKM has a bunch of bullets. The MG is the one that I'm going to be going with because... Um, I, it, the MG, um, assault, or not assault rifle, uh, LMG is extremely well. So, I'm gonna be taking off all of this, I'm gonna be going for 100 round mags, and sleight of hand, oh, shoot, and sleight of hand to reload even faster, um, I'm also gonna be going with the 5 milliwatt laser for better hip fire spread, as well as the, um, FS, actually, no, I'm not gonna be going for that. I'm going to be going for the Merc 4 grip, and actually I'm going to take off the monolithic suppressor for no stock for better movement speed and ADS speed, um, although I would rather have, actually, um, the stippled grip tape for sprint to fire speed, that way I can uh, hit fire a little better. Again, Cali sticks, although you could use really any of these pistols, and it would probably work just as well for this class, as well as double time, hardline, and tune up um, for faster... Um, Specialist recharge, uh, or not specialist, uh, yeah, specialist recharge, as well as a thermite and a stem. Um, let's see, for this one, I'm going to be using the PP Bison, uh, because while the PP Bison isn't a godsend in, um, core, it is pretty good in hardcore. So, what I'm going to be using is the monolithic, actually, not monolithic. Um, lightweight suppressor, um, as well as the 8.7 polygon, again for damage range and bullet velocity, um, and then 84 round mags with a, um, stipple grip tape and no stock. Um, I don't really care about the sleight of hand with this bigger, um, with this bigger mag just because it reloads decently fast anyway, so what, so basically I can kill a bunch of people in one mag. Um, go, reload, and then go back. It's kind of like extended mags in Black Ops 2. You have to choose extended mags or sleight of hand. I chose the extended mags just because you can kill more people in one uh, mag. So I don't know why this one has a, um, a MP5, but basically I'm going to be using kill chain for this one. That way my streaks get um, kills, um, which pile up to my next streak, as well as I'm going to be using overkill. Uh, or not overkill, hardline, for better, um, for faster streaks, so while I'm getting kills from my streaks, I also have one less kill to get my next streak, um, as well as amped for more, um, fa uh, faster weapon swap, and, uh, actually no, I don't, I don't want amped, I want instead tune up, um, here we go, um, and then I'm gonna be using a thermite and stem, of course. Um, what else do I want? Okay, so for the P90, I remember what I wanted here. I wanted the MP5 for this class. Um, I also wanted the monolithic integrated suppressor for more, uh, sound suppression and bullet velocity. Um, because while this one gives you more ADS speed, the bullet velocity on this one actually helps a lot more than the, um, ADS speed here. Just because when you're shooting, you can get your bullets out faster. Um, next up, I want the... 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags that way this bullet velocity also has better damage and longer range for a faster and longer one hit kill range um as well as the f tac collapsible and the um stippled grip tape for more ads speed and then the tac laser for more ads speed as well although you could use the merc 4 grip in hardcore specifically i don't think it's really needed but you could use that in uh hardcore or core if you think you need it um I then have the Cali sticks. Um, I have. I don't want uh, that. I want the double time, hardline, and tune up. Um, 
what class am I missing? I know I had one more. This one, M4A1. Um, so what I'm going to be using for the M4A1 is, again, uh, where is it? I think I'm going to be using this one. Um, because I thought there was a damage range and, um, bullet velocity without the recoil, but apparently there isn't. So I'm going to be using this one, that way I don't need a suppressor. Um, actually no I'm not. I'm going to be using this one, that way I get the ADS speed. But I'm also going to be using this one, that way I get the damage range. Which I don't think is actually that good. The M4A1 is actually the tougher one to choose for, in my opinion. Um, but I think I'm going to be going for this one, just because it gives you a bunch of range over and then also control, but you lose a little bit of mobility. So I'm going to be going for that one as well as no stock and to put grip tape to get um, that mobility back, as well as the tack laser to get a little more of that mobility back. Um, and then probably sleight of hand just so that I don't have to. Actually, no. I'm going to be going for the 9mm. 32 round mags for more fire rate and recoil control even though you lose a little bit of damage and damage range that fire rate helps a lot so you can choose um between the 32 round mags or the 10 round mags um because i believe this one makes it to where it's a tap fire um semi-automatic uh, where this one makes it to where it uh shoots faster um which is pretty good as well as considering this one adds the damage range that you basically lose from that one so um, I don't know why I had a Renetti with a sight on this, um, but apparently I did. Um, so instead I'm going to be using the Cali Sticks with Double Time, Hardline, and Amped. Actually, with the M401, I'll probably be using Kill Chain, because I know I can get kill streaks with that. Um, as well as the Thermite and the... Oh yeah, I had Stun Grenade on this for the Stun Grenade Challenge that, uh, was in the Daily Challenges. Okay, and then for this one, I think I used the 725, but considering I have the JAK now, I don't really need the 725. So I think instead, this is going to be more of a, um, I think I could make this a foul class, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I'll make this a foul class. So I'll do no stock. I'll do stippled grip tape. I'll do ADS speed, I'll do lightweight suppressor, and then I think I'll do the 24 round mags. Um, although, I don't think the sights on this are bad, but I think that a reflex sight would probably help me out a little bit, if I'm being honest. Yeah, so if, if you're going to do this rushy, uh, rush a bit, I would use a reflex sight, but if you're going to do this more of a slow not really campy but like slower run and gun type thing i would use the sniper scope um i'm going to be using the reflex sight for this one um as well as cali sticks double time hardline and tune up um let's see do i have okay i need tune up basically if there's any class that has the cali sticks use tune up Because there's no really need there's not really a need to switch weapons faster if you have the Cali sticks. Okay, so those are my classes. Um if you really want any specific class, um I'll really tell you what these got these uh, are each for. This is for a more rushy or slower playstyle, like you want to rush to the enemy spawn, um but they know you're coming, so you're gonna rush and then you're gonna maybe play it a little slower so that you can kill them before um they really know what hit them. This is for basically people are using uh, shotguns or they're camping or something like that and you're just going to fight fire with fire. This is for um, a long range map to a medium range map or um, an objective game mode. This is for a hardcore class that dominates. Um, again, a hardcore class that dominates. Um, this is for Warzone. This is for another hardcore or core class that dominates. Um, really, this could be a dominating core class as well, um, but this is more of a hardcore class. So this could be a pretty good core class and a dominating hardcore class. Um, this one, again, is dominating for both uh, types of modes. This foul one can really dominate for both types of modes, but I don't have it maxed out, so it can probably get a lot better from where I have it right now. Uh, LMG, again, if you're... LMG 
one is really for if you're on a close range map um just or you can really run around with this and just completely destroy and then the mp5 is another good core and hardcore class so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please like especially modern warfare um but i'm doing more mortal kombat as well uh, just uh, one, take a break from Modern Warfare, but also because I have an editor now, so he can edit the Modern Warfare videos while I play Mortal Kombat, and I can then uh, edit the Mortal Kombat videos so I can have both out um, every day. So, we'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.